COVID-19 pandemic has affected all sorts of outdoor activities and have resulted shutdown of schools all across the globe, leaving more than 1.2 billion students outside the school. And as a result, education has also changed dramatically with institutions and teachers teaching remotely through digital platform. The good thing is that the teaching learning institution have taken this change very positively and transformed the lockdown period in the period of learning and growth. No doubt, there are a number of advantages on online learning, which may be otherwise not there in traditional classroom teaching, like we can have very personalized learning. Online learning is very engaging, interesting, you can collaborate through it, can communicate very well. But in spite of all these advantages, there are potential pitfalls as well, which we need to keep in mind, especially in this period when we teach online. First of all, we need to plan our lessons very well, which is very much required to keep a balance between the synchronous and asynchronous sources of learning. Lots of uh, synchronous use like video conferencing, etc. may adversely affect the learning of the student. So we need to have a very, you know, balanced use of both the web resources. Then the proper blend of on and offline activities are required. Learners should be given assignments which keep them off the screen for a day off to some creative and cultural activities should be blended with the academic activities and the online use of audiovisual aids and activities should be selected according to the age groups where kids could learn with lots of animation songs games and other activities fun activities grown-up fun should have you know lots of discussions and interaction period interaction time with the peers so the teachers should regularly uh, assign them some activities where they can work collaboratively and they feel associated in this time of social distancing as well. Just to cut short, I would also like to, you know, reflect on the issue of equity, which would affect our social life very well and which, you know, have a greater impact on the social life. The important aspect is that we should be very careful and there is should be a balance between the work and the home time. It is being experienced by most of the people that they are glued to their digital devices. It is good that we are working from home, but at the same time we have families, we have children, we have people around whom we need to take care of, need to talk to and need to, you know, give that special feeling which is very much required in this time of crisis. So we should keep this very much in uh, mind that there is time for every aspect whether we work from home whether we teach from home the children and the other people should be given the liberty to carry on with their other activities that this should you know if the balance is not maintained this can affect their functional health as well where our youngsters and adults can get addicted to the internet which would lead to the deprivation of sleep the pain in joints muscular problems cardiovascular problems at the same time it can lead to many other functional disorders so this is very important then you would have experienced the poor internet connectivity with the place or the people, the families which do not have very strong internet infrastructure would definitely suffer in this period of work and learn from home. And then we should also be aware of the families where we are sharing digital devices. So sensitivity is, uh, you know, uh, should be there for these families and children who are sharing the devices, who are sharing the internet bandwidth. This would definitely affect their work from home culture level from home culture but whatever may be the case we as Indians have definitely transformed this critical situation into a productive period and we thank our government who is taking all possible you know steps and uh, all the measures to make this period more fruitful for each one of us online learning is an incredible tool to get associated to communicate with one another to learn and we need to make this learning experience happier for each one of us so let us try to make each other happy let us try to make these online activities 
beneficial for everyone living a happy experience of this lockdown period. Thank you very much.